Hey guys, we're back. We have a 2000 and something. I think it's an 8 or a 9 Toyota Corolla that has a bad alternator. So today, we are going to get that swapped out. Should fairly be straightforward since it is on top, which is super nice. We can take the beauty cover off. But first things first, remember when we're working on the alternator, because we've got our live battery lug right there, always disconnect your battery. So that way we don't do sparkies and all that kind of fun stuff. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. It's going to be a 12. Let's loosen this guy. That's what you do to, to tighten up your alternator. Okay, down here. So let's figure out what our other bolts are. It's a 14. I don't know if you can see down there. It's right below the pulley here. So you can kind of see it's clocked in like this. So it's just one bolt right there that goes through the whole thing to pop it out. So once we loosen that, you notice this should slide. Now oh, there's a bolt right here. That's another. There. Let's get this bottom one. So by doing that, I can loosen that belt. Set that aside. There we go. Wasn't very tight. And believe it or not, there was enough room under there to get that all the way out. Okay, so now probably should have done that first, but whatever. Cover here. Last guy, pop that off. Slide it back. I'm like, can you see? You can see. Because we got a couple things here.
Right. So that is going to be 10 millimeter. So this is why you need to make sure you have your battery disconnected because this goes straight to the battery. And if you're dead and all sorts of sparkies can happen. And we got the truck driving by to make noise. We got a pinch tab on the side of the connector. That, that, and looks like now we got those guys off. We got some other things going on here. It's on a little slide connector right there. Let's see if we can get that separated. I just kind of tuck out of the way. So everything's loose. So it looks like we need to take this bracket off right here in order to get everything out. So that is going to be another. 12 millimeter. Where's this guy right here? What's this out? Should. Everything's theory now. Should come out the top. See, see how theories work. There we go. Old unit is out. New unit. Tucks right back into the hole. Feed our bolt. Back in through the bottom here. That guy back in there. Let's see what else we're doing here. So we got that back in. We got that bolt tightened. I'm gonna move you here to see if we can get a little better shot. So this right here was the bolt for the bottom. We got the belt on. So now we need to put our tensioner back in place, and then we can really just tighten everything down, which is kind of nice. You know, loosen it all the way up for kind of ease of installation. Bolt in. 
what's up with all the loud cars on my street today? This one. <laughs> I love when I drop things. Tighten that one all the way. Then everything else is still kind of loose. So now... Come on. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. Okay, so we got the alternator. We haven't put any of the electrical on yet. So what I'm going to do... So we're just going to get everything cinched down. The electrical is going to be the last thing. Just making sure the belt is on. Everything is supposed to be on. this bolt down. I'm not going to tighten it yet. So that's one that's going to hold our tension on everything. Now we're going to run this guy all the way down. We're going to... Just feel that tension on the belt. Feels good to me. Now we're going to tighten this one. That's actually going to hold everything in place. Now we just need to go down and we just snug up that bottom bolt. If you remember, of course you remember, you were just here. That one, I like the deep socket for it. That's snug down now on that bottom one. Just so you can see. So it screws into this guy right here. That's a little bushing that actually moves a little bit that pinches down on that mounting spot, which is really kind of nice. So I think it's a nice snug foundation there. Did notice the new one didn't have our mounting screw right here. That's just to hold the electrical at the bottom so it doesn't flap around anywhere. So it's a 10. Hold that down here, put it on.
electrical on there. Comes with a new screw or nut or whatever you want to call it. There, and your electrical plug. There we go. And with that, job done. Not a too difficult job on this. A lot easier than it was on the Explorer that we posted last week. So, pretty good. So, let's see. Takeaways, takeaways, takeaways. Right on top, not too difficult. Make sure you got your belt tension set pretty good. Um, I know where you have to pre-tension like this, a lot of times they're prone to squeaking, so you just to make sure you get that nice and snug. And then throw your negative battery terminal back on, and you're good to go. If you guys like what you saw here, I know I did, give us a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.